What's up, y'all? JT here with a quick unboxing and look at the S921. So called the Venom Hunter, which is they're actually putting names with these cards, which is good. So and this is actually going to be about 12 scale in size. It's not really going to be 10 scale um, in size. What we're used to being like 10 scale size, like uh, I guess like some of the armor and Traxxas cards and stuff are. So it is 12 scale in size. You guys will see that once I kind of take it out the box. Uh, but this mode, this, um, car does have dual motors in it, dual brush motors, and they do give you two light bulbs and stuff with it as well. So it's going to be pretty interesting. They're, they're claiming it's going to run about 30 miles per hour out the box. And of course, with the two lipos, you can just either run one lipo or you can run two in parallel for kind of double the capacity and stuff for it. So anyway, let me go ahead and get this box open real quick. And you guys know we got to do it. <sighs> Smell of a new RC car. So um, this looks pretty cool and stuff. So let me go ahead and let me get this out real quick. And then let's uh, see what we got. All right. So getting this out, the truck does look good. Um, like I said, it is more or less 12 scale in size. And uh, the suspension of it seems to be set up pretty good. And this is four wheel drive. And like I said, it does have dual motors. I'm kind of stressing that because uh, there are other versions that look similar to this that do not have dual motors and stuff in it. So that's what kind of makes this one more unique than some of the other cars out there. So just taking a real quick look at the radio and stuff. It does come with a 2.4 gigahertz radio for you. Um, this radio does use three double A's in it and it does have some of your basic uh, trimming settings on it. it does have a high and low speed on it as well. And then it has some trimming for your uh, steering trim and then, of course, your steering direction and stuff as well. And then servo reversing for the steering servo, but not, nothing for the throttle. So and this does come with like one of those two in one type um, receivers and stuff as a receiver and ESC that's kind of built into one um, with that. So real quick, looking at the instruction manual, you guys get a pretty good detailed instruction manual here and it is in color. So I do recommend if this is your first time purchasing something like this. And even if, even if you're kind of experiencing this, I do recommend just taking a couple of minutes if you can and just reading through it and familiarizing yourself kind of with the car and stuff and maybe some of the precautions that they have set out in there. But it is in color and does have a pretty good layout of the car. Um, so and looking back at a couple more things, looking at the goodies that we get up in here, um, we do get a couple things with the goodies up in here. So since this does have two LiPos with it, you do get two USB type uh, LiPo charges. You just basically plug that into a USB port and then you plug your balance port in and you can charge it. It's probably going to charge in about an hour. So maybe a little bit more than an hour. And they do give you stuff like lights in here that you have to hook the lights up to the car. That kind of plugs into that two in one receiver as well. Um, and then they also give you a cap and stuff or covering. If you're going to just run like one LiPo, you can put that covering over top of it um, to keep that in of course, charger jack and stuff as well to plug into a wall and some basic tools. So uh, anyway, back to the car. So suspension setup is pretty good. Uh, tire compound seems to be not bad either. Um, I think this will be fine for the performance of this car and stuff, especially out the box. It's going to be kind of an all purpose tire, but it doesn't feel too hard and it doesn't feel too soft. So we definitely don't have to worry about any ballooning or anything with this. So uh, getting the body off real quick. You guys see there, we got our two light bulbs there. Like I said, you can either run one single one or you can uh, put the adapter on here and then run them uh, both in parallel for, you know, just a longer runtime because it's going to double the capacity of it. Uh, looking at the two in one receiver, you guys, an ESC is kind of built in there as your on off switch. And that's basically where you're going to plug in for the lights that you hook in. You just put that, uh, it's, it's a little tab that comes in with the light kits and you can put that there and mount your lights on the front and rear of this as well. So car does come with uh, six shocks. So four in the back and two up front. And the layout seems to be pretty good. Um, there's no willy bar or anything for it, but I don't think you'll really need it for this type of car. And it doesn't have any adjustable turnbuckles or anything, which I don't think is needed as well. Because I think they're looking at more, more of the durability factor and not having that is going to help because these are going to be, they're pretty strong and pretty flexible. So if you hit something, you have to worry about them breaking right away as well and look at that you guys got uh metal dog bones in there front and rear so that'll be good i mean that'll give us some some durability with it as well no plastic or anything there with that and the layout of this looks pretty good so guys that is a quick look at this um i'm gonna get this up and running i like kind of how this body is kind of transparent these battery plugs are keeping me from putting this body on until i get those tucked in there right uh but i'll be testing this on with one battery and then also with two batteries and I may actually 
paint a different color on this because you guys see it is kind of clear. So I may do like a black or something to black out these windows as well. I may, I don't know. We'll see. Or maybe do a light gray or something like that. But everything seems to be good so far with this suspension setup. Uh, is it isn't as bouncy as some of the other cars that I've gotten that's kind of in this category, which should be pretty good. But we'll get this out and uh, get this through some test runs to see how this holds up. So anyway, guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, stay tuned for more videos. Thanks for watching.